Hello everyone, hopefully you can see things. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the less attractive siblings. So this is a live stream, it's pretty chill, um, nothing too serious. We're just going to be uh, answering more or less what the questions you guys have about, um, well you can talk about really anything you want, facial aesthetics related, uh, but we want to keep it themed towards the idea of um, this concept of there being a less attractive uh sibling so that's kind of what we're doing right um so just give me a moment i'm just gonna bring jc on uh right now so if you guys are from the discord server nice to have you here um just give me one moment i'm going to invite jc he's he's running a bit late today uh, but yeah, have your questions in the chat. If you haven't joined the Discord already, that's something I highly recommend you should be doing. Um, because it's very active. It's surprisingly active. And the the amount of people that provide really good quality content is... It's pretty staggering. It's, um certainly wasn't expecting it. So it's good to see everyone here. Welcome. I'm just going to start in five minutes. So I can get JC on. And hopefully we can talk about the less attractive sibling effect. I don't think it's an effect. I think it's just something that kind of happens. But nonetheless makes for something interesting. How do I stop being single? <laughs> um, that's a tough one to answer. It depends on a lot of things. Generally, I mean, I don't want to tell you just go out there and meet people. But if you're not going out there at all, then what do you expect? You're just going to meet people out of nowhere. Being attractive does help, but um, meeting people is, is a far more complicated answer than that. And I, I, think, I don't think this is the right channel to help you with that. There are better dating channels that can give you better advice. Uh, just just one thing, just make sure that the audio is good, everyone. It just let me know if uh, you want me to boost the audio or everything's fine. Hey, hey JC. Uh, just start we've already started the stream so just like five minutes in just waiting for you okay so so sorry apologies for that um um so hopefully everyone can hear us uh the discord invite in the description is broken okay there's one in the um well there's one in the chat as well uh, we'll look at that in a second um so jc we we agreed on this last week that we're going to be talking about the less attractive sibling so i'm basically yeah. uh i, I kind of <laughs> so f firstly i found this subreddit um found this uh not the subreddit i found this red reddit here uh reddit post about to the least attractive siblings out there how did you guys find out which i found pretty funny um then there's also this article which i thought was just completely um completely crazy uh, can you are you watching the stream or are you on Zoom? Yeah, I'm. I'm, yeah. I'm looking at the stream okay, on cool. the uh, yeah, my cool. other phone. Okay, cool. Um, so <laughs> this article, <laughs> hey guys. this article is pretty crazy. Um, fifteen uh, fifteen celebs you didn't know have siblings, uh, and then the and the thing is, it says here celebs who have the ugliest siblings, which is just such an out of pocket <laughs> description of. Um, Gosh. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, but um, I I think it's a good starting point for us to talk about. Um, does anyone in the chat have any experience with being the ugly sibling? And I don't like using the word ugly. Just let's just say less attractive sibling. It could you could just be average, and your uh, sibling could be really far beyond average. Uh, and, and how was that experience? I'm I'm curious for the people that uh, that do have that experience. How was that experience different for you? Yeah. So. Some people um, are saying, well, well, firstly, let's look at the uh, Frank, uh, sorry, the Jonas Brothers. Um, yes. So <laughs> you can see this, right? Uh, which one would we say is uh, the the most attractive, the least attractive? And what are we, what are we going to talk about this for, for the Jonas Brothers? So, yeah, so the Jonas Brothers, yeah. uh, as many of you guys know, um, and I, I see a lot of you, uh, what is this uh, Asada? Uh, single black female Ash Van Lee. I recognize that name. Um, uh, who do we know as the, I guess, least attractive Jonas Brothers? So the main thing is everyone gives Kevin Jonas kind of like the yeah. kind of like afterthought. Yeah. Um, 
and there's been some long-term kind of things that I'm sure Kevin has gone through. Uh, there was a couple stories where uh, Kevin Jonas tells a story of a girl holds up a sign and it was yeah. saying like, Kevin, uh, it was saying, no, it was saying, Joe, you're really hot. Yeah. Uh, Nick, you're really cute. And Kevin, you're all right. <laughs> and so uh, I can't imagine, you know, yeah. just kind of like doing, well, I mean, and here's the yeah. thing, look, he doesn't yeah. look that bad. Yeah. He doesn't look, you know. Um, so so just, just for the uh, people who don't know, do you want to uh, tell us who's who? Okay, so on the far left, is joe jonas yep. and in the middle is nick jonas and yep. on the far right is <laughs> kevin jonas yeah this guy. And see, if if you were to look at kevin jonas um by himself yeah. i think and you didn't have any context of him being like a jonas brother mm -hmm. it, it, you know i i think he, he he's not an unattractive guy you know yeah but it's the fact that you're comparing him with his brothers that makes it kind of like oh okay you know what i mean it's like yeah yeah, I mean, yeah. no i mean the the thing is um i actually think he's quite attractive um yeah he's a, he's a good looking guy but like his brothers uh, i don't really understand the hype with with the brothers themselves i don't think i actually personally i feel like they're very equally um ranked in terms of their own looks like they're well, they're very well, much the same. Here's the thing. well here's the thing that uh you have to lump in is also talent weighs yeah. in big you know, big factor. Yeah. I, I think people don't realize like, um, yeah, talent can make someone look really attractive. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's and true. Ke Kevin Jonas is not known for his solos. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, that's that's a fair point. Um, let's look at the, some of the comments. Uh, some people said. Yes. Uh, I think somebody said Andrew Gar Garfield has a unfortunate looking brother. Um, so I'll just oh, bring him up right yeah, now. Andrew. Yeah. Garfield. Who, who said that? Brother. Which, uh, um, which person? I, I lost the comment, but somebody said that. Um, while we're on that topic, uh, the the Franco brothers. So let's look at the Franco brothers first. Um, I, I actually I, I, I didn't think know the them. Franco brothers. So the thing is, what? you, you got to Google third Franco brother because there's like nothing on this guy. <laughs> and then yeah. um, and then people just instantly know who you're talking about. Uh, this is the third Franco brother. So. Um, is there someone more than James and Dave? Is there a third Franco there's, brother? There's, a, there's we, a third Franco brother. Yeah, I didn't know. There's this. a third Franco brother. Yeah, really. Yeah, and um, so again, like the the thing is, apparently his is meant to be less attractive than the. But again, the, I think they're just equally matched in terms of looks. What? Did they hide him away in a closet? Like, what's going? On? That's the thing. <laughs> like, I, I recently found out that um, the the Hadids have an older sister, like um, Elena Hadid. I think her name is. Uh, as well so yeah, yeah. It, it's funny because you feel like do they just lock these like yeah like i've never practice. heard of any of these um people but what, what i think is interesting so these are all um they're, they're all more or less similar looking to each other and um i don't think there's any like particular differences in in their aesthetic but um one example is, yeah yeah one, one example that I thought was really interesting was uh, this male model called Tony Mahfoud, and that's the guy in the thumbnail. So, um, if you guys are wondering, but Tony Mahfoud's brother is um, he's quite is quite interesting looking. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's like unfortunate. Like they're very similar. <laughs> no, well, no, they're, they're very similar in terms of like... in terms of bone structure, but um, one is higher yeah. body fat level, and uh, this may not seem uh, apparent yeah. right from the get go. But this is like the perfect example of, you know, one attractive sibling versus one less attractive uh, sibling. And, uh, uh, and, and yeah. in the meantime, while you're bringing that up, uh, Catherine Page, the Jonas Brothers on the left might be the most attractive or, or maybe the middle. Uh, Asada, uh, I like the smart dudes. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, because uh, like the oh, thing yeah. is, um, I think this this one, like a lot of people have spoken about his brother, and I, um, it, the case is like I don't think he's any, he has any different features to um, Tony himself. So this is the brother. This is Tony Mafud, who's a male model and photographer, um, and artist. And did so, he get work done? I, yeah, yeah, he, like he, he did get he did get some work done. But like in terms of bone structure, they actually if you look at the like really early photos, and I see if I can pull yeah. some up, um, th there wasn't that much difference. So at one point, um, they start to like deviate in in like looks. But starting off, mm. they're, they're more or less similar. I think uh, this is like a really early photo. If you guys can see. Oh, it. Uh, 
Bobby Lully. Oh yeah, we're gonna bring up Brad Pitt's brother because that's the one I told uh uh Coops didn't even know that um yeah Brad Pitt had a brother. Oh okay. um, and, and this is an interesting one. Um so I don't know if you guys remember Cameron Heron. We made that video about him. Um he he was driving a Ford Mustang and he killed someone, you know, those street racing. Um oh, geez. if you guys if you guys saw what his brother looks like, um this is his brother. Let me just pull it up here. This is his brother. This is Cameron Heron. They're both related. Explain that to wow. us. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it, it really puts into perspective. Um, well, I wonder if it's that. Here's the thing. I wonder if their dietary and habits that they did in their life was drastically different because, uh, you know, I wonder if because uh, Rami Malik actually had an identical uh, twin, and at some point they like kind of deviated okay, let's from each other. Rami Malik, and then after that, yeah. we're gonna do. Uh, I think Bob Lully talks about Brad Pitt's brother. We can bring up yeah, uh, Bob's yeah. suggestion. We'll, we'll, Brad Pitt's Brad Pitt's brothers. Uh, it's uh, pretty. That one's a pretty obvious one. But uh, let's look at the Rami Malik one. Just yeah. Let me see if we can find it. Rami Malik's brother. Yeah. Um. Oh, actually, yeah. They, they look pretty similar. To be fair. But they used to be virtually, apparently, virtually identical. Wow. To yeah. 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 No, I see it. They're, they're very similar, but um there's there's some deviation as they get yeah. older and I, I see what you what you're saying yeah um yeah more or less because uh, yeah. one time uh apparently uh in order for um his brother to get the a in the class rami pretended to be him in college yeah uh and did a whole acting bit with him okay so, so i see a little bit of heavier body fat so so somebody said uh the ugliest is often the first child to be born it must have something to do with the genes um <laughs> see the thing is it it doesn't it um the yeah. what this re reflects is something we've been saying for a while that attractiveness is like say like 60 percent genes and then 40 percent upbringing nature versus nurture yeah. it's like this for all organisms you know uh ever in existence uh, there is a component that's inherited and then there's a component that is uh, uh influenced by the environment and that's called the phenotypical expression of your genetic uh makeup basically and uh, certain genes are expressed, certain genes are um, used, certain genes are not ever used. And that's purely dependent on the way uh, you're raised and your environment. So even yeah, though these guys might I, have had... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, go on. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I was saying, while... while um, uh, let's bring up uh, Brad Pitt's brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, Brad uh, Pitt's brother. Okay, cool. Let's see. We got Fire Spawn. Cameron is pretty. Uh, we got Hot Cream Pie. Oh no, uh, <laughs> no, not that, guy. <laughs> not that guy again. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Brad, uh, Brad Pitt's brother. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's got, he's kind of got the similar, he's got a similar look. Um, but I mean, this guy's not un like he's not bad looking, you know, like. No, he's not bad looking. But if you're going to be compared to being Brad Pitt's brother, yeah, yeah, I mean, true. there's a standard of like you're Perhaps supposed to be one it. of the. Yeah, yeah. No, let's see. Yeah, that, that's actually. Douglas Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> Douglas Pitt. Um so so the thing is like one of the things I'm noticing here instantly is uh Brad Pitt has has a far better jawline than uh, yeah. the brother. Also um since he has a better jawline it also affects the mid face because uh mm -hmm. the the mandibular the maxilla so the upper and lower jaws are very much um interlinked with each other in terms of facial development so if you have a good jawline chances are you also have a good uh, upper jaw and that also influences the development of the eyes so with uh seems like the eyebrows are more developed on Brad Pitt's oh, side oh yeah yeah the, the eyebrows are also thicker as well so he he just yeah. that's that's just purely getting lucky in the genetic lottery but uh, in terms of facial development Brad Pitt has a lot his, his development is a lot more pronounced uh, and that's what I'm guessing is perhaps they had some deviations in the diet maybe one of them um, had some kind of blocked nose and that caused him to mouth breathe a bit more there's so many different yeah. factors but uh, you, you can, can see the yeah. stronger chin from uh, oh yeah yeah 100% from, so it's, yeah. it's such a like the differences in bone structure are just night and day and um, the but you can still see that they're brothers that's the thing that's the like there's yeah there's, it, that, doesn't that just make you I just feel I just wonder what he's going through i feel like he just doesn't tell anyone that he's brad pitt's brother like yeah, when he's I mean, on a date i mean I, I'm, I'm sure he's married and happy but like you know at this point in life yeah. i don't think it really bothers him that much it's it's kind of no. like 
you have an attractive brother he's done something in in the acting or modeling industry and you, you yourself you're just gonna do something in you know another field um altogether so you know maybe brad pitt has the looks and you have the intelligence you can do something else we 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 have jordan uh jordan ma fumbo says brad pitt's brother looks better than brad pitt the brother looks more feminine than brad okay, somebody said nile demarco brother uh ralphie wiggum my brother got all the worst features and i got all the best <laughs> okay so nile demarco um he's the uh i think he's he's the deaf um actor deaf oh really oh i i haven't heard the name this this, um, this can't be right wait what? twin brother oh that's his okay so this is his twin brother wait 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 this is his brother this guy who who, who? um the the um Brit- the, the red-headed guy is apparently his twin brother oh that's really crazy interesting oh um there's there's no i think he's adopted can somebody clarify that um yeah because someone looked that up to verify yeah I, the... I i think i remember something like this I, i'm not 100 percent sure just like one of those memories uh tom cruise's brother so tom cruise brother huh i mean they kind of oh that's really his twin oh that's crazy that is easily the craziest example we've seen so far that's... that is insane huh so is that well, some I mean, kind of right... genetic anomaly is it like some some yeah. form of albionism yeah it looks like a recessive redhead trait yeah yeah uh, definitely what are the odds um you said oh. uh someone said meeks Jeremy or meeks, brother. Cruise. okay let's look at tom brother? cruise's yeah. brother um tom cruise has a brother oh, no I... way that is what that is interesting so tom cruise has had a lot of work done to be fair um i don't know if you've seen his like teeth uh his um i'm almost certain that tom cruise uh possibly had a jaw implant i'm oh, yeah, almost yeah, yeah. I, I, I keep hearing a, that there's a lot of speculation but yeah they definitely have the same jaw um but one has very poor mid facial development and the other has better mid facial development uh also i think tom cruise's money and uh his role in the public eye has led to that's him tom, no no that's his brother. no 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 that's his brother. that's not tom cruise's brother that's his brother look they even have the the same um the same smile jaw. yeah the same smile the same jaw everything uh the difference mm. is in the mid face and then obviously the hairline so i'm guessing tom cruise is either heavily on finasteride and um what's it called uh home uh what okay i'm uh, pretty I, sure yeah tom cruise, yeah i'm also pretty sure tom cruise does uh fillers um uh, i remember one time seeing him um and he looked very bloated like mm-hmm. in like that filler that overfilled kind of like thing and that's the thing you know if you guys are trying are even considering kind oh, okay, of that's fillers, his, um yeah. somebody said that's his cousin not his brother um oh it's okay, okay. Let's, let's take let's see if we can find a closer example apparently oh okay the cousins um I th- and I th- and yeah go go ahead um surely no i, I feel like that i can't find anything on his um does he not have a brother or J to B, the brother could be albino. The last brother that we j- just yeah, brought up, guys. So, so now DeMarco, yeah. that one. Uh, we got Andrew. Andrew says, "What about your, what about your brother? What, what do you mean? What about? Do you have a brother, Goose? Uh, I do, but he's um, I think he's probably going to be more attractive. I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, I think we're quite similar. Like he looks very much like me when I was younger." Um, hopefully I, I teach him facial development so he becomes better looking. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rob Kardashian is a good example. Yeah. Uh, we got, uh, let me see. Hinata, can you compare brothers and sisters like this? Um, yeah, there's there's actually a lot of examples of brothers and sisters. We'll go into that ju- in, after this one. So we'll do Rob Kardashian. Um, who is um, who do we compare Rob Kardashian to? There's no, there's no analog to Rob uh because you can't really compare him to his sisters it's not because they all had work done i you know yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's not, i it's... i feel like that's like you can't really compare because it's just like we're, yeah, we're now talking yeah, about plastic yeah. surgery um oh is it, so here's an ex- interesting example so we're looking at um this one here uh his sister george clooney's sister ada zeidler so if we just do a search there 
I think um this is this is this one's quite interesting. So Ada Zeidler is obviously the, um, George Clooney and Ada Zeidler, um, his sister, uh, sorry, Adelia, Adelia Zeidler. Uh, they're they're in their like 50s, 60s now. They're, they're considerably old, but um, it's clear to see that one has aged better than the other. And um, someone also said Ashton Kutcher's brother. Uh, this is so. This is George Clooney's Bonic. George Clooney's sister. George, this is George Clooney's sister right now, right? Yeah. That's what you said? And, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean one, uh, one has aged better than the other. and uh, I mean, I, think, I feel George Clooney has aged like fine wine. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, look at his uh, look at his bone structure. Look at how, how developed his jaw is. The thing about bone structure is when you have very strong dentofacial growth, uh, even if yeah. all the skin and the soft tissue uh, sags away and it disappears, uh, the bone structure will still be there. And that's the but, essence of what makes a handsome man. I, I think also the thing about it is when you're talking about, um, you know, um, siblings that are not in the spotlight, mm -hmm. you become le less self-conscious about your look yeah. and, and and your health yeah. uh, sometimes goes by the wayside. Because usually when people get older, they just get so tired and, you know, yeah. you're working your whatever nine to five job. And so things kind of go, you know, slack and because of that, your body suffers from uh you know from you know you not working out you not exercising and um yeah and that's kind of like how yeah. you start gaining weight and start losing losing your structure somebody said cameron heron's brother we've already looked at that i think that is this one um so that's cameron heron that's his brother that's pretty it's pretty obvious. oh this is an interesting one yeah. kim possible said britney spears and her sister okay britney spears we haven't done really any women all right, let's take a look at Britney Spears' sister. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I see this quite similar. X XL uh, Jingping. I don't. I don't think we can do uh, your suggestion because uh, I just. I fear if he looks up any images, we might find something that we might. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's the uh, suggestion? Uh, I think it was Riley Reed. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we. <laughs> you gotta turn safe mode on for that yeah um yeah they're, they're, i think they're quite similar uh except one looks uh, like she's aged a bit worse than the other and um i think to be fair britney like, did yeah i mean to be fair like britney i mean gosh britney had has had she's had one hell of a life yeah i mean yeah um but if we're gonna just talk about we're not gonna say lesser attractive let's look at it from I, I a think, perspective. i think i think they're like, very much equal different? like like honestly they're very much equal the same features nothing yeah. um the only majorly different examples we found were um so brad pitt um where was it uh not not rami malik but cameron heron and then also uh now demarco i believe uh, and, and tony mafud these are the only major yeah. differences we've found so far uh with the brothers um somebody's is in, that yeah. a uh i'm noticing um is that a rhinoplasty from britney spears i'm no you know if yeah you can yeah see it's, it, it's got the uh the sunken in uh the uh it's called it's like the, the pinched tip, nose look yeah yeah the pinched nose yeah 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 uh, yeah 100 yeah. percent. yeah that's i should do think it's a characteristic uh trait so those of you that don't know one of the ways you can tell a rhinoplasty is that once the doctors remove cartilage from a specific area that region starts to sink and it creates this very noticeable um, pinch nose look. Now, noticeable in the sense that people who know, know, and people who don't, don't, will never know. Uh, if you notice that her um, alar base contour goes straight, like a triangle, and for the pinch nose look, it's more of a, um, it curls upwards a bit more and the nostril is more exposed. So, uh, yeah. yeah, her nose, she definitely got rhinoplasty well done and it's one of the telltale signs. Uh, Ke Kevin, Kevin said Mike, thurston's brother oh mike thurston uh he is a yep. bodybuilder that i uh i religiously look at for um yeah uh, i think he recently got like a technique. hair transplant mike thurston okay um good good for him so so it's, it's he's australian right um mike thurston. yeah i think so i'm not too sure I, I don't know all that much about him uh, i'm trying to see if I by can... the way if you guys have any personal stories of like um is there any of pictures you... of mike thurston's brother uh i, I don't I, think there's there's not a lot of pictures of of his brother and yeah if okay. you guys have um any stories if you have any personal stories of like 
uh, of favoritism with like sibling favoritism because of uh, looks. Uh, I would love to uh, read them. Uh, the Olsen <laughs> sisters. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're so similar looking. It's it's they're uncanny. So, okay, yeah, come on. Uh, yeah, they you, you got to give us examples of where they look completely different. Um, <laughs> Catherine Langford. Oh, Miley Cyrus. I, I did read about this one. Uh, so Miley Cyrus, and actually, we so everyone knows what Miley Cyrus looks. But what about her brother Trace Cyrus? I think Miley it. Cyrus's dental facial growth is interesting. Uh, I will say this. This is um, yeah. Um, oh, this is the old ones. Okay. Okay. Let me let me just double check that I I got the right guy. Uh, yeah. So Trace Trace Cyrus um, is apparently he just looks so different that I'm not even sure if I have the well, right guy. Well, I feel like the Olsen twins, I mean, I mean, everyone basically looks the same. The only thing is the Olsen twins has have had so much uh, plastic surgery that it's just kind of like, I feel like it's aged them, honestly. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, good example. Anyone have any more uh, suggestions yeah. for us to look at? Giselle we, Bunchen's we... sister. Okay, I like that. Uh, so... Giselle. Who's in the chat? I, I see some familiar faces in the chat. I, uh, we got Shale, Casey, Ace, uh, Bob, Bob again, uh, Jared, Mesa, Eric. Uh, His sister's very Denise. much similar looking to her. Uh, very much the same. I, I think maybe there's like a little bit of a height difference, but other than okay. that, Giselle Bunchen, uh, Victoria's Secret model, more or less the same. Let's see if we can get. There was a good example somebody gave us earlier. Okay, Someone so... said Ashley, um, uh, Ashley Simpson and Jessica Simpson. Uh, well, the one I want to look at first is Jeremy Meeks' brother. Apparently, he has a brother. Jeremy Meeks has a brother? That's what I heard. Oh, oh my wonder... God. <laughs> There's like a whole set of family photos. That's pretty funny. I wonder if he got the eyes as well or... Uh, yeah, this one. There you go. So... Let me just move it. Thoughts? Apparently, is, uh, can anybody confirm this is actually his brother? That's. What do you think, JC? I, I need to see it. I haven't seen it. Can you see it? Yet? Can you, can you blow it up? I haven't seen it. I think it is. Yeah, I feel like I remember. Similar features, insanely. Uh, He's got a crazy jaw. Uh, the jaw, jaw angle is almost 90 degrees and it's super masculinizing. Whereas Jeremy has got more of those pretty boy features. His, his angle is more feminine, but it's still equally wide and it, it works to their credit. But it, this I think one, they're both kind of like on more yeah. or less same playing field. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I think Jeremy easily uh, has got better features. Uh, that's more appealing to the the larger audience um because it's got a mix of feminine characteristics as well whereas his jaw the brother's jaw is super it's masculine more, crazy masculine, yeah, it's like a drill super sergeant masculine. yeah but i i do i do feel like i i don't think he's like significantly lesser less attractive oh um, no no the, the similar this yeah this uh yeah so the example somebody said is ashton which is brother Oh wait, we, you forgot Jessica Simpson, Ashley Simpson. I think that's a because we've done a lot of men. Okay, we no, no, done... we'll, we'll do this one and then we'll go to Jessica Simpson. Yeah, uh, Ashton Kutcher's brother. Uh, that's that's um quite interesting. We, oh. While while you're looking that up, we have writing with I N C. I feel like my dad liked my sister more than me when we were younger. There were so many factors that uh contributed i was overweight and like he used to be uh oh shoot i just lost it um jessica simpson's did, did you say jessica simpson oh uh, yeah, yeah jessica simpson and ashley simpson oh, okay uh they're, they're more or less quite similar looking Let's see if i can find a good photo uh we got another one from abby uh, yeah, my sister often got favorited. I am Asian, and my sister is Asian and half white. People described her as pretty, but they refer to me as the smart one. Oh, it, al oh, it always that's yeah. tough. Yeah. That is that is unfair. Thoughts on Ashley and Jessica Simpson? Can you see it yet? Uh, yes, I, I can't see it. It just needed to be blown up. Um, 
And it's crazy how Jeremy Meeks married a uh, billionaire a billion, heiress. Yep. A billionaire heiress and had a baby. So he's locked in financially. But- We'll look at a couple more examples for you guys but yeah. overall what is the take from this what can we say well i think a lot of it has to do with like your lifestyle and your habits and um but at the same time it's it's like um i feel like especially with the kardashians when one of them when they started getting because it was like one per, I, I forgot which kardashian waited the longest before she got plastic surgery but i was it Chloe? I think you know. I think it was. Chloe. I think it might have been Chloe. Yeah. yeah. So Chloe waited the longest before she got plastic surgery, and then you know there was just so much favoritism, like from the public. Yeah. And and, uh, and eventually, I guess she just decided to go to go with it, and um, yeah, I I, I think it, you know there's just a lot of like the quality of life is a little bit different. And you either have to fully accept it and just know that it, it might be there uh, or you can do something about it or, you know, I mean, yeah, that's the best way I can yeah, uh, no, say that. I think they look the same. A, a lot of it is dependent on your, um, so there's, it, like I said, uh, the belief that I, I have is that it's 60% genetics, 40% uh, upbringing. And there are things that you can do which separate brothers. Uh, good ex- Like example here, somebody said Finn Wolfhard. Uh, what do you think it's there's quite a big difference i think in their aesthetics one has yeah. a, a significantly weaker mid face region so his eyes appear to be uh drooping downwards and this is a characteristic yeah. trait so so is that a negative canthal tilt yeah I yeah, yeah. I, so they call it a negative canthal tilt uh <laughs> that it's one of those characteristic traits that um basically makes the face appear like it's just drooping off and it's it doesn't exactly strike fear into the hearts of your enemies, so that's one of the reasons. Why does? Yep. Why does his face look like he he has filler uh, on the left? Finn Wolfhard, yeah. Um, it looks like a little bit of filler, he, like yeah, you know yeah. that cheek. Yeah, yeah. Kind of... No, no, he definitely doesn't have filler, but uh, the, the, like, okay. he is um, his aesthetic is it's like very much it's super androgynous to to begin with, so. Yeah. The, the fact that his brother is a bit more masculine looking with those andro- with a lot of those feminine androgynous features it, it gives him n- not the best look and uh, I don't want to be mean here but uh, I, I think this somewhat like Finn is uh, personally I don't think Finn is like super handsome or attractive he's just, he plays his he plays his roles really well and he's a very good casting for the show can you but... get a picture of him with his face relaxed uh, I feel like yes. it's gonna look a little bit better his eyebrows uh kind of like you know feminize him because he has pretty sharp and no no the thing is yeah yeah. so so he's got very fem so this is the brother by the way so he's got very feminine characteristics uh but then uh especially with the long hair that's not doing him any favors uh, if that's aesthetic is going for and then he's got a super masculine jaw and even then it's not it's not masculine like like a pretty boy masculine it's like a drill sergeant masculine so very very low at jaw angle very sharp corners very wide and it creates this blocky effect that doesn't contrast with the long hair the the drooping eyes the weak mid face the mid face um what's it called under eye deformity under eye contour yeah. deformity so so there's many characteristics of his face that makes it look like like it's it's not harmonious it's discordant as we would say if i feel like if he had a different haircut we yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like, um, I, I don't know. Maybe he's just doing what his brother does, and you know, they're both just rocking the the curly hair. Because um, he does yeah. have a jawline. You know, it's not like completely. You know, you know what it's, I mean. Not, so I not, just yeah, feel- like he's got some things going for him, but like that eye, the eye area is a very big detractor to his attractiveness, and I think that's probably the, like the first thing we look at is the eyes. Actually, so I would actually yeah. argue that having attractive eyes might even be more desirable than an attractive jaw. Because you can always augment the jaw, but you can't uh, change many of the features of the eye region. So. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, you know, you know what I always notice. Uh, have you ever noticed, like, when uh, men get older, like the classic thing that men like to do, yep. uh, because they don't know how to handle with aging. Uh, men, older men, always start wearing sunglasses. Oh, like yeah. you'll start yeah, yeah, men yeah. wearing sunglasses indoors and whatnot. Uh, 
So, yeah, know. no, hundred percent. I've noticed that, and that's because they don't know what to do about the drooping eyes. Um, the 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 face is just basically the the soft tissue is falling off, and they don't know how to handle that. They think that you know cosmetic surgery or non surgical. Yeah, uh, they would are, rather wear sunglasses. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah, that, yeah. That's a very good observation. Uh, we'll just do cu a couple more women. Um, so Beyonce and Solange. Wait, wait, wait. Is that uh, is that who I think it is? Is that uh, Vinny? Vinny, uh, yeah, yeah, Vinny Hacker. So somebody said to look at Vinny. I couldn't find any convincing photos of his brother. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, I could have sworn Vinny had a negative cam photo, but that might have been his makeup because the way, because he sometimes like wears. No, makeup I think it's that... closer to neutral. It's just the uh, the way the the camera was taken. Um, so and he always likes kind of like putting his chin upwards. So yep. he's kind of like always. Yeah, like... yeah, 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 hundred yeah, percent. So it just looks like that. So KSI. And actually, let's just, I want to do more women uh, comparisons. Yeah. Uh, so Bridget Bardo, Bridget and Min Shanu. Uh, Kim Wong, uh, does cheerleader effect help or hurt uh, in the Kevin Jonas example? Uh, that is a good example. So if we actually go back to it, that is, uh, I definitely think it helps. So these are Franco's. It definitely helps the cheerleader effect. It, the way we covered it in our video was that the psychological implication means that when you look at the brothers all together, you're observing them all holistically. You're looking at three dudes staring at you rather than each individual facial characteristic by itself. So, you know, this one has a more defined jaw. This one has a more rounded jaw. This one has a more uh, sharper jaw. I'm not noticing those things when I'm looking at them. I'm just looking at why are these three dudes staring at me? You know, so that's that's not my first thought, and that's how the cheerleader effect basically works. Uh, mm. Casey Neistat is the king of the droop. His excuse for wearing sunglasses is that he looks at the preview screen on his camera when he's vlogging. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I, I don't even want to show it because it's like we all know. Like Casey Neistat has a very droopy eye area, and um, he's he's obviously very insecure about it. It's something that bothers him. So you know, I'm not. I'm I don't not know who that is. Okay. <laughs> Uh, fine i guess we have well, to i guess we have to uh, no i mean you don't you don't have to bring it up if, if he if he's really self-conscious about it yeah we don't no, have i to feel like it I, 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 no, I, I let's feel go to bad. someone else um we'll do one more one more woman zayn malik and his sisters um uh by the way jordan uh mafumbo uh i know you say chloe and Haley uh bailey i feel like they're more or less the same I mean, I just yeah. feel like the only difference is yeah, like they're very similar. One, I think. Yeah, I think the only difference is like style-wise, like one is a little bit more uptight, and the other one wants to be kind of like freer, and you oh, know, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, you know, that's personality-wise. You can tell in the hair style. Dua Lipa sister? Does Dua Lipa have a sister? I didn't know Dua Lipa had a sister. These are very interesting comments from you guys. Uh, I love reading them. Um, okay, she does have uh, a sister, huh? Look at that. Kamo Com Com Mary says, Whenever I see extended family and friends, everyone greets my sister with, You're so pretty. And I get, You've gotten taller. Oh, no. No, that's... That's... Um, oh, man. Malia and Sasha Obama. That's... Okay, I think this, there's a case to be made there. Hmm... I think there's a case to be made there. So Dua Lipa does have a sister. Um, I think Dua Lipa got the better end of the, the stick. She is taller. Uh, she does have better facial features. Her sister's not particularly um, unattractive. Who's that? That's, so I believe that's a sister. Dua Lipa? Oh, she, oh, she's, a, she's a singer. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, but she's covering up the eyes. I can't really oh, see yeah, her yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> not the best example, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, this one is. I think it's pretty clear. Dua Lipa got the better on the stick, and she's in. Um... Okay, let's see if we can find examples of Malia and Sasha. Um... I was saying that I was overweight and reminded him of a younger version of himself in a bad way. My sister did too, but in a better, attractive way. Writing with INC. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's that. That's the one. Th I mean, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so thoughts on uh, Malia and Sasha? Uh, I don't see the picture up. Oh, I okay. only see. Yeah, it's, it's not up yet. It's well now. Now you just changed it yeah. to that. Yeah, uh, right. cool. You got to blow it up so I can see. Yeah. So um... let's do it. Not a profile. Let's not. Oh, okay. Uh... Not a profile. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. 
uh, in the comments, people are saying Lindsay Lohan and her brother, um, Malia and Sasha Obama hike. Okay, fine. Malia and. Uh, uh, Monty Daly says, being Afro Indigenous, my family uh, has a range of variety of Afro. Uh, light skin and dark skin was an unfortunate thing of uh, favoritism. Well, that's colorism. Um, well, that's a whole different. Uh, yeah, that, that's situation. a. That's, I mean, does affect definitely like skin color is also a part of um, your identity. And so you can't, you can't ignore how that ties into perceptions of beauty or yeah. how people might look at you. But um, that the but wide, what we're focusing on yeah. is like, uh, yeah. you know, weaker features, things like that, that might determine <clears throat> more, more or less or facial features, things that are yeah. uh, more dentofacial structural, that kind of thing. Uh, so this, will be, the, yeah. Yeah. this yep. will be the last example we'll be looking at. Uh, just let me know when you can see it, JC. I can see it, uh, but can you make it a little bit bigger? <laughs> I'm yeah. noticing her top third, uh, whoever that is on the right, uh, she has a very large forehead. Yeah, um, I, I think that's the older one is Malia. Can somebody confirm? W do you know which one? Anyone down? Uh, I, is it which one? I, I always forget. Um, Remember the name. I know the older one. Um, she's, I think, yeah, like again, she's taller, she's got... She's got better growth, better facial development. Um, but I do notice she does have a bit of a um, look, look at her jaw angle. It's insanely divergent. Mm. Um, so I, what it points to is some kind of maxillary. Um, what's it called? Overbite or uh, yeah, there's a word for it. By maxillary protrusion uh, and which is I it, feel like yeah. Michelle, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like Michelle's dental facial features had something no, 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 but i'm not no no no, no. I, I think michelle's uh, facial features are perfectly fine like that there's no weird um uh, dentofacial issues but maxillary uh dental what's it called i keep forgetting the name um dent uh, no malocclusions are you talking about malocclusions? No, 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 no not malocclusions uh, it has a specific name um dental alveolar protrusion or um maxillary dental overbite those are examples of what's known as uh, prognathic jaw, jaw injuries or jaw malformations, yes. right? And, and Sorry, thank you so much, Soria. Uh, and, and if, someone said prog yeah. prognathism. Um, yeah, prognathism, yeah. Um, but the thing, the, prognathism is more like an overbite and an underbite. Um, maxillary protrusions are slightly different in that the upper jaw, um, for, like you can see, she has, I think it's very clear here that she has an underbite going on. And uh, you can see how she like pouts that lower lip uh, in front of the other, yeah. uh, the, the the younger sister doesn't have that actually. Um, I, I don't know if she's she has her mouth open, but uh, just from the jaw alone, you can tell that she doesn't have that. Whereas the older one does, and that's one of the key signs is how uh, long the the jaw is, the mandible is, and how uh, obtuse the jaw angle is. So basically, the jaw is like stretching out, and uh, it, it's it affects. I think it affects the African American population more than any other racial group. Yeah. Um, and it's like 10% of the population has it, which is insane. Uh, it's insanely high. But uh, we made a video on that. Um, well, we, yeah. we can wrap this one up because we can probably have yeah. to go over the uh, TikTok right yeah. now. Yeah. So, well, that, that's it for this week. Uh, thank well, you to everyone for joining. We, we looked at a lot of different faces. Yep. JC, you thank you, uh, guys. Uh, Delirious, Casey, Nathan, Sandhu, uh, Jasmine T. We got Zane, uh, Don. Uh, everyone else who's been in the comment section uh, helping us with some ideas, giving your own stories. We love to read them. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much. If you want to hang with us on um, on TikTok, uh, you can. Uh, follow me on YouTube. If you guys haven't seen any of my YouTube, I will be posting longer videos like uh, in the near future. And, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, thank you all for joining us this week. And this video uh if you, if you haven't joined the discord really should it's very active probably the most active of all the social media platforms so the link is in the description i'll see you all there all right see you guys